Okay, so today in algebra, we're adding and subtracting radicals. So in order to do this, the square root expressions with the same radicand, and radicand is whatever's underneath the square root, are examples of like radicals. Okay, and in order for us to add or subtract, they need to be like radicals. So let's look at some examples of what makes something a like radical. That would be if I had 2 root 5 and 4 root 5. Okay, if we look, my number underneath the square root sign are the same. Okay, another one would be if I had 6 root x and negative root x. Again, the variable, whatever's underneath that, is the same. Okay, last 3 root 4t and just root 4t. Again, the number in front doesn't matter, it's what's underneath that does. Okay, so let's look at some ones that are not. So unlike radicals. So these we cannot combine. That would be like if I had 2 and root 15. If I wanted to add those together, I wouldn't be able to. They're not the same. Or 6 root x and root 6x. Okay, again, those are not the same. This is x, this is 6x. Not the same number. Or 3 root 2 and 2 root 3. Sure, we have the same numbers involved, but what's underneath is not the same. So these ones you cannot combine. Okay, moving on from there, we're going to look at adding and subtracting. Okay, example one, if I have 3 root 7 plus 8 root 7. Okay, if I look at those, what's underneath the square root is the same. So I'm able to add them. Okay, just like with variables x and x, 3x plus 8x, I would keep the x the same. So this would be 3 plus 8 is 11, and I keep root 7 the same. I don't do anything with that. So that would be your answer on that one. Okay, here I have 9 root y minus root y. Okay, well they both have root y, so I can combine these. There's this 1 in here, so I need to do 9 minus 1 and get 8 root y. So again, underneath your square root, it stays the same. Nothing changes on that. Okay, let's look. Example 3. If I have 12 root 2 minus 4 root 11. Okay, if I look, 2 and 11 are not the same, so this right here would be your answer. Okay, the reason being is you cannot go further because root 2 does not equal root 11. Okay, so those are not equal, so I can't combine them. Okay, negative 8 root 3d plus 6 root 2d plus 10 root 3d. Okay, if I look at these, this one has root 3d, 2d, 3d. So these two right here, I can combine because they have the same um, radicand. So negative 8 plus 10 is 2. And then this one I would just bring down because there's nothing else I can combine with it. So this would be my answer right here. Okay, so that's um, good on how we can combine them. Now we need to take into account what we learned yesterday and simplify before we add or subtract. So example 5, I have root 12 plus root 27. So if you look at this first, you should think I can't add those because they're not the same. But we need to simplify them to see if after we simplify, we can add them. Okay, so what goes into 12? How about 6 and 2? Then 6 is 3 and 2. 
circle in pairs. So this is what we learned yesterday. Pairs go out, single stays in. Okay, this one, 9 times 3. 9 is 3 times 3. Circle your pairs. Pair goes out, single stays in. Okay, now if I look at it, I have the same radical. So it's root 3 and root 3. So I just add the numbers in front. So this becomes 5 root 3. <clears throat> okay, example 6. 3 root 8 plus root 45. Okay, so let's simplify this. Root 8 becomes 4 times 2. 4 is 2 times 2. Circle my pair. I take out a 2, and I need to multiply it by this 3. I already took out, so 3 times 2 is 6, and I put the single back in. Okay, 45 is 9 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. Take out a 3, and my single 5 stays in. Okay, when I get to here, 2 and 5 are not the same thing, so this is just my answer. I can't go any further than that. Um, your homework is another half sheet of paper. Most of y'all finished in class, um, but please let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.